Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we're going to have a look at our armrest and layout of controls in our CIS Plus machines. And you now join me up in the cab of our CIS Plus Hexashift machine. The first thing that we see is obviously our spool valves. So we have our blue spool here, our brown spool here and our electropilot up to the front of that which work is positive function, negative function, and then floating after that as well. We have our transmission functionalities for increasing our gears or decreasing our gears, where we can also then change a range by the large push forward or the large push backwards. We have our headland gear on top. Following that down, then we have our simple hand throttle underneath, which we can use in combination with our engine RPM uh, memories. If we have uh, cruise control specified to the machines, we can turn cruise control on or off through the screen, which we'll look at in a separate video. That's then controlled by these buttons here as well. Over to the right of that, we have two plus and minus icons alongside them for increasing that engine RPM or that cruise control value. We have our road mode and our field mode buttons. We have our transmission auto shift function here for turning that on and off. And then we have an unlock for our electropilot, so make sure that we can work our spool valves, and a front button for turning our front linkage on and off if the specification so requires. In terms of the linkage on the tractor then, we will have an in and out of work function alongside where our hand sits here. So we have a maximum height here and we have a minimum height here which is annotated with our depth wheel on the right hand side of the armrest. We have a couple of function keys available on this machine as well. So we'll have F1 and F2 below our linkage controls here and we'll have F3 and F4 on the right hand side of our electropilot joystick which we can use to control a number of features on our tractors. Moving over to the right hand control panel of the tractor we can see a couple of extra functionalities that we maybe not be using as frequently as what we saw on the armrest. So starting on the top row we have an unlock for our steering if we're using GPS steering on the tractor. If we had a specified on the machine we could have our dynamic steering uh, engage switch here as well. Followed by that we would also have a CSM or headland management sequence button for turning that function on and off again if we had a specified. We have our hydraulic unlock switch here and then we have our um, engine regen management features here as well. Moving down below we'll have our PTO management. So firstly rear PTO that we can see fitted on this machine and if we had it specified a front PTO switch located here as well. We then have our auto PTO function that we'll take you through in a later video. We have our front axle suspension button located here and if we had an Arian machine we would have the ability to adjust the front axle suspension height with an additional switch below that as well. We have our in-cab isolator, we have our hazard switch and we also have a little switch for turning on a plug, a 25 amp plug at the back end of the machine as well. Moving over to the back B pillar on the right hand side of the machine we now see a couple of rear hitch controls. So firstly we have our various different PTO speeds coming down along depending on the specification of the machine. We have our PTO brake button here for an emergency stop. And over to the right hand side then we'll have a various different couple of linkage controls. So we'll have linkage up, linkage down, the ability to turn our linkage suspension on and off and then being able to lock our linkage suspension if we wanted to go on the road for example. Below that, if we had it specified on the machine, we could have wheel slip control if we had a radar spec on our machine. So the ability to turn our wheel slip control on or off. Below, the, below we have a little display giving us an indication of our linkage and underneath that then a couple of dials for some settings. So we have our maximum height here control, so if we're using a PTO powered implement for example, it might be very important. We have our lift speed and our drop speed dial here for speeding that up and turning that down. And lastly, we have our draft control dial here as well. And again, if we had that wheel slip control specced on the machine, we would have that dial located here as well, guys. Looking at the steering column then, a couple of very simple but fundamental controls that we have to the tractor. On the left hand side of the column we have our shuttle, where we have obviously forward reverse and then our park lock specced on the machine, if we have it. And on the right hand side of the column then we have our rotary dial for navigating our way through our CIS Plus display. Obviously being able to turn clockwise and counterclockwise, pushing in to select and then escape key located behind it as well for going backwards in the menu cluster. We also then have our physical dashboard here giving us our main information about how the machine is performing. 
The last cab controls that we see in our CIS Plus machines are very, very simple. Located at the top right hand side of the cab, we see firstly on the left hand side our climate control with our manual option here. We also have the ability to have an automatic function. In the middle we have our light control panel which has a memory function to it when we turn on and off it will remember the last sequence of headlights. And over to the very right hand side we have a couple of switches again depending on specification. Firstly we can see there in this machine we have our top level headlight switch which we can turn on and off if we have something largely front mounted. And underneath that in the black square if we had it spec'd on the machine the ability to control our electric mirrors. So just looking at a couple of the buttons that are then specific to our C-Matic transmissions but on our CIS Plus armrest. Well firstly looking at our drive stick, that is our main point of interaction as a driver to our forward speed of the machine. We have now cruise control engagement on top here. So by tapping this we engage our cruise control. Further down we have our range change available to us here with the plus and minus icons on top of the speedometer symbol. And then lastly we have our mode button and rather than engaging hexa shift which we saw on the other armrest this changes us between automatic and dry stick mode. So thank you for watching everyone I hope it helped feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine and if you have any further questions don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.